Hello, Spooky family. Welcome back to an all-new episode of Spooky Vault Reviews. And how cool is this headband? I couldn't resist. I was left alone unattended in the Halloween section at the dollar store. So, ta-da! Today we are going to continue our viewer's choice list um, with Circus Cane, which was recommended to us by Sarah. And I told her I really like clowns and carnival -y type things, so she recommended this to me. I watched it on Hulu, so if you'd like to check it out after this review, I am not going to spoil the ending for you because the ending, I have to say, was a decent twist that I was not expecting. Inspecting. Wow. Expecting. And I apologize for any noise that you hear outside. I've tried several times today to record when it's somewhat quiet and the odds are not in my favor. So um, we're just going to get to it. So first of all, the, when I first saw Kane here, he kind of looked like a discount Rob Zombie. Do you guys see that? Give me a thumbs up if you think that he looks like a discount Rob Zombie. That's what I thought of. No shame in that. It was just, it was funny. So, um, a bunch of these people who have a following were chosen to go to this haunted house and they thought that it was like, you know, one of those spooky places and you know, that it was realistic and stuff, and they have to survive to win a $250,000 prize. And they find out that the murders that are happening are legit, because Kane's a little bit of a psycho. Who wouldn't think somebody named Kane is a psycho? I have no idea. But hey, he is. So, you know, you follow these characters, the acting's kind of campy, kind of goofy, it's a 2017 movie. I honestly wish the one thing, kind of like with Funhouse Massacre, I kind of wish movies like this would stop being so freaking campy and like partially horror comedies and actually be horrific. Because like movies like this, they, they look cool, you see the trailers and you're like, wow, that looks like it's going to be super interesting and then they're always always, always, almost always, freaking cut short because they just missed that bar because the acting wants to go campy or the cliches want to happen so much. I would love to see one of these carnival-y type, weird, circus-y, old-fashioned carnival movies actually be legitly like a psychological horror or something like that. Um, but for the most part, the acting is campy, however... It was a good watch. It kept my attention through the whole time. I wasn't, you know, playing video games or anything on the on the side like I normally do. That's how I judge my movies because if it's so bad, I kind of end up like looking at Amazon or, you know, playing the PlayStation, whatever. Oh. Anyway. Um so the main twist is about this one girl who's the final girl and the ending was actually really shocking and that's where I'm not going to spoil it for you. I do recommend this movie for um, like people that like slasher movies and maybe a campy version of Saw movies because of the deaths and stuff like that. Um, those that like horror comedy-ish movies. So if you want to check it out, it is on Hulu. I highly recommend it. Uh, thank you Sarah for giving me a movie that I did enjoy. If you have seen it, let me know your comments. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you wanted to see it or such, let me know. And next week, we are going to continue on with our viewer's choice. I think we have four more. And then I'm going to go back to uh, the Spooky Vault reviews with three films in one episode because those seem to get uh, go over well. So with that, I'm going to say adios. And, you know, if you're new here and you enjoy my weird channel, um, go ahead and subscribe, join, become a spooky family member. We have cookies and we're going to have a movie night soon, so, you know, follow all the social media stuff. And those that do, I, <laughs> I was actually shocked. I got my first donation for Desdemona Productions. If you would like to donate so we can keep up with equipment and to go towards the studio to help that go faster. 
the link is in the description box below. Have a good one, guys. As always, stay spooky.